Hello everyone, my name is Code Freak. Welcome to my channel. Please be sure to like and hit the subscribe button below. Today's video is part 2 of my tutorial about making original music without knowing how to play live instruments. In this video, I will be covering the basics of what you need to know about Cakewalk's Piano Roll View to be able to draw notes in from melodic virtual instruments. If you prefer to use different software than Cakewalk, feel free to adapt my tutorial to the corresponding settings in your DAW. The Piano Roll View is useful as an editor for tweaking recordings made by playing MIDI instruments such as keyboards. For our purposes, it is also the most important tool for drawing notes into the computer. The Piano Roll View can be likened to writing music onto sheets in Western musical notation. Cakewalk has a staff view if you prefer to write music this way. However, as you will see throughout this tutorial series, the Piano Roll View is far more advanced than traditional methods for music composition, or even the staff view, and you hear the results live as you are creating. To start, set up your DAW as you did in part 1 of this tutorial. For our purposes, I'm going to delete the default tracks in the track view. Next, go to the browser window on the right side. Look at the button with the keyboard icon. If you hover over it, the label says Insert Virtual Instruments. Click on this button to see a list of virtual instruments Cakewalk has detected on your computer within the browser window. Depending on what instruments you have installed, your browser may look different than the one shown here. Now I'm going to load a virtual instrument. Double clicking on an instrument brings up a box. If you are following along this tutorial using Cakewalk, make sure the box on your screen matches the one shown here. Once you've loaded in your instrument, you'll see two tracks. One of them has an icon that looks like a keyboard with a MIDI port logo. This track is called the instrument track. It serves as a way for the virtual instrument to make sound. The other one just has the MIDI port logo. This is the MIDI track, which tells the virtual instrument what notes to play. To bring up the piano roll view, right click on the grid portion of the virtual instrument's MIDI track. Select view on the drop down menu. Then select piano roll view. As you can see, there is a grid and timeline in the center window, a piano style keyboard column on the left a list of MIDI tracks on the right, menus and controls on the top, and MIDI note properties on the bottom. The grid is where you draw notes. It is organized so the horizontal directions indicate time and the vertical directions indicate pitch. If you are unsure what the pitch of your MIDI note is, you can use the keyboard on the left for reference. Let's draw some notes. As you can hear, the note is played back as I move it. After you place the note, you can change the pitch by selecting the note and moving it up or down, as well as extend or shrink the note's length by selecting the edge of the note and moving the mouse left or right. The length will increase or decrease in either direction depending on which end of the note you select. You can also change the length and placement of multiple notes at the same time by selecting the ones you want to modify, like so. To delete a note in the piano roll view, right click on it. To delete multiple notes at once within the piano roll view, you can do at least two things. One is to right click on the note, then hold down the right mouse button while moving it over other notes you want to delete. Another is to right click on any empty space in the grid, then hold down the right mouse button while moving the mouse to select the notes you want to delete, then press the delete key. By default, the note snaps to different positions on the grid, making drawing perfectly timed notes very easy to do. I'll talk more about this later. The scroll bar between the grid and the MIDI track list here zooms in and out vertically, which can help with changing the pitch of MIDI notes. 
The scroll bar at the bottom of the piano view, found here, zooms in and out horizontally, which allows for fine tuning and coarse tuning of the timing of MIDI notes. The list of MIDI tracks on the right is useful for selecting what tracks you want to work on. It is also useful for adjusting MIDI notes on the track you are working on while using two or more additional MIDI tracks as reference points. I'll go into more detail on this in a later video. Look at the top of the window. On the upper left, you can see menus titled View, Notes, Controllers, and Tracks. Next to that are shortcuts for setting the initial length of the note you are drawing, like so. On the upper right, you can see multiple settings. The most important ones to worry about are the settings to the left of where it says Auto Focus. These settings affect the way the MIDI notes snap to the grid. You can change the snapping resolution, which is the size of the increments between the snapping points, as well as the accuracy of the way the notes snap. You can also turn off grid snapping altogether. Know that in Cakewalk, the snap setting in the piano roll view only affects snapping in the piano roll view, not the whole project. It also overrides the project setting, so turning this off means the MIDI notes snap according to the main setting. When writing music using the piano roll view, it is important to know that when you want to play back the notes you just drew in, the quickest way is to use the spacebar and mouse. The spacebar starts and stops playback, while the mouse is used to click on the part of the timeline you want to start hearing from. If the song is playing, you can click a spot on the Piano Roll View's timeline and playback will automatically resume at the spot where you clicked. To automate that process, close the Piano Roll View, look at the timeline in the main window's track view, select a portion you want to repeat, right click on the selected area on the timeline, and select Set Loop Points. Doing this will automatically turn on the looping function. You can go into the same submenu and select loop on or off to toggle the loop. At minimum, this is all you need to know to get started drawing music. Thank you for watching part 2. Check out my social media links in the description below, and be sure to take a look at part 3 of this series, where we go into detail about some of the more advanced features of the piano roll view. See you guys next time!